In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use templates in Dreamweaver CS3. So to start us off, uh, just go under Create New and click on HTML. And I just want to tell you now, this isn't really going to look pretty. Uh, it's just for function, basically. I mean, uh, we're just going to start with a table, and it's going to have three rows and one column, and uh, it's just going to be 100% width. And you'll see pretty quick how this is uh, not going to look... Uh, very good, but uh, it's just for function. So uh, just click in the middle one, and I'm just going to split the cell and have two columns. So now we can have one column over there for like a menu, and one uh, we can have one column at the or one row at the top for a header, and one at the bottom for a footer. Then we have our main one for content. Uh, I'm just going to change some of the colors here, make like a dark gray for the top and bottom. And we'll make like a light gray for the sidebar, and then the content can be in the middle. Um, so I just want to discuss with you for a minute uh, why you should use a template. Um, you might think that you can just uh, create like a general page and then just keep saving that and changing stuff. And I mean, that works, but if you get into having a lot of pages and you want to change something on all of them, you're going to have a big problem because you're going to have to go back and change whatever little thing you wanted to change. Um, on each individual page and you're really it's just gonna blow so with a template you make a change to the template you save it it changes it on all of them and it just makes it really easy to, uh, uh, to make site-wise site-wide changes so uh, I'm just gonna type some content in here or not content but some lettering um, let's say header goes here actually I'm gonna go back and change uh, change goes and spell it wrong and I'll show you why in a minute. We're just going to put sidebar we'll just call it call that part uh, or that area that. We'll just say footer goes here and then this is where our content's going to go. Now in order to save it as a template you're going to want to add an editable region so you go up to insert and you go down to template objects and then do editable region now, it says that it's going to convert the document to a template, but I'll just click OK. So, the editable region we're just going to call content, because that's what's going to go in this area right here. Um, so, now it just default puts in the name inside of the, uh, the box here. So, whenever you open up a um, file that you've created from this template, um, this is going to be the part that you can edit. So everything else is going to be uh, static, and you're not actually going to be able to change it. I actually put a capital E there for here. Um, but you will be able to change anything inside of this blue content box. Um, I just want to make a note here that if you're using uh, the technique I showed in another tutorial where you're using uh, Photoshop slices um, and adding functionality with that, um, <clears throat> It's actually going to mess up your template a little bit, or it's going to mess up your page in Dreamweaver. When you actually save it out, it's going to look perfectly fine in um, your web browser, but in Dreamweaver it'll look a little messed up. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but that's what happens. Um, so anyway, we're going to go to we're going to uh, go to File, Save As, and I'm just going to save this. Uh, oh wait, sorry, we're going to go to file save as a template, and we're just going to call it demo template, we we'll save over that, um, and click save. Now, yeah, overwrite that. So I want to make a note, another note here, um, that in order to save a template, you need to have your site defined. So basically you just go to, you just whenever you try and save a template, it'll let you define a site if you don't already have one. Um, basically it puts it just makes a folder on your desktop or you can designate a folder and uh, it just sh it has your site and all the files in it. it. It really makes it easy and you can actually upload files from it and when you're in Dreamweaver you can go between like your files and your site so you can just see all the files from your site only instead of all the other uh, crap you have on your computer. So it just makes it really easy. Um, so I suggest doing that uh, especially if you want to create a template because Really, that's the only way to create a template. Um, so now that we have it saved, it's a DWT, so Dreamweaver template file. 
and I'm just going to go to file new and we're going to create a page from template. You have blank pages or default and you go down to page from template and we're going to click on demo template. You'll see a little picture of it and you want to update page when template changes. Make sure that's checked because uh, if it's not, you're going to have a problem. So click create and now you'll see you have your new document and you have uh, it has this little yellow thing around it and it says demo or it says template and a colon demo template so you know that that's the template it's going by and you'll see here um, this part that we created in the other one this uh, editable region so if you go in here if you go into your code um, pretty much everything else is not changeable anything with color you can change like you can change the title um, you can change just content here that goes inside of this editable region but I mean I can't really click here you see I get a little no symbol uh, telling me that it's not going to work. So we can say um, content, let's not do it in caps, let's spell it right too. Content goes here. Alright, I'm just going to copy that and we'll just do some fake content here. Let's hold that down. Alright, now we can uh, go to file save and what you want to make sure you do is save this file inside of your site that you already have defined. So I'm just going to save it as unti Untitled 2. Um, and I'm going to overwrite it because I already have one uh, in there, but that's not important. So I, I don't have these as divs, so it's going to make this, uh, it's going to resize it kind of how it wants it to. But I mean, you could easily change that later. Um, so if you want to preview that in the browser, see so we have our thing here. And... It's kind of going out of control because we don't have really have divs, but um, if we did, it would be manageable. Um, so I'm just going to close that. And remember how I said that we were going to change uh, the misspelled part right here where it says header and then it has the um, Z instead of the O? Well, if we go back to our template and we change the O and we do file save it's going to ask us to update the template files and it's just going to show all the files that we have made from the template so you click update and then this other little box comes up you can just close that and now you have all the files are updated as you can see it changed on this one and it just wants me to save it again but if it was closed then it would just automatically update it and you wouldn't even have to save it and it'd be perfectly fine so I only have made one file from this template, but if I had made a hundred, all of them would have the regular spelling now. So if I didn't have a template and I had just made them all from the same uh, HTML file, I just kept saving it and changing stuff that I wanted to, um, I'd have to go back and change one letter on all hundred uh, pages and that would pretty much drive me insane. So as you can see, a template is very helpful. Um, so I hope you got the general idea of uh, why you should use templates and how to create them. Um, so I want you to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.